Good day, lords and ladies. I'm Cornus Knight, and welcome to Steam Heist, a lovely little um, indie roguelike. Why well, say indie roguelike? It's an indie turn-based strategy roguelike, similar to say XCOM or oh, what, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Battle Brothers. It has that feeling to it. It's party management, turn-based strategy, all that good stuff. Plus, it, it's basically a steampunk, which I absolutely am a massive fan of steampunk. So I've been really wanting to put this game on the channel for a while, and I had a choice to get, I had a chance to buy this game nice, and well, for a nice price recently. So here it is. Um, it is from the developers Image and Form Games. Um, they are also, if you haven't heard of them, they're also the developers behind Steam World Dig. This is basically like a successor to that particular game. So let's, before we come jump in, let's just watch the intro. The, the artwork for this is fantastic. Just sit back and enjoy. The Earth, broken into a million shards, forcing its steam-driven inhabitants into space. Hard-working folks known as Calbuts survive by farming moisture and mining what little land is left, constantly dealing with all sorts of space jerks. There are the gangs of scrap metal meanies roaming about, preying on the weak and completely disregarding basic manners. Then there are the diesel-driven royalists, a bunch of oppressive bullies, abusing their power and bleeding the Calbuts dry. To top it all off, there are rumors of something far more dangerous stirring in the depth of space, waking from its age-long slumber. These are the descendants of a shattered planet, and this, my distinguished gentlebots, is the new Steam World. So there we are, let's jump into the game, shall we? I've played about an hour on regular so far. I sort of figured out how the game works, so we're going to we're going to mix it up. We're going to do experienced, which is I played it on regular. So we have slightly less enemies, slightly less enemy damage, missing failure penalties, 25%. We we'll go with um, also they they have the same amount of health. They just have less of them, right? So we'll go with missing failure penalty, enemy numbers, enemy health, but bonus XP. This is what we'll play on. We'll play on experienced. We can change it at any time if we have any problems. Piper Faraday, notorious smuggler and occasional pirate, is having a rough time. A brutal gang of thugs called Scrappers are spreading across her turf in the outskirts. Stealing everything in sight, they have even been known to kidnap the locals. Their presence could draw unwanted attention from the Royal Space Force. In short, they are bad for business. Low on water, Piper and her mates have boarded a scrapper ship, aiming to relieve them of their ill-gotten cargo. And of course, it all went according to plan. Welcome to Steampunk Heist. I do love the art style in this game. I love both this game's art style and the previous game's art style, I think. Um, image and form have done like a fantastic job. Um, one thing you will notice in this game... Hats. We're gonna, we'll get that to in a second, but let's just get into the main game, shall we? Blast! This did not go according to plan. What a positively from a car place. You've got to admit that it must be pretty terrifying because these guys are basically like cannibals. If they're basically kidnapping people and using them for like scrap metal, it's like basically like cannibalism. It's these guys must be absolutely terrifying for robots. Right, we can look up around with the mouse. Ooh, that's not good. Hey fellas, you all right? Right, better get up there and help out. 
you can use a controller for this, I'm using a mouse, so what you do is you press on the ground, you want to move, it highlights it, and you move like this. This is very XCOM, you basically, and like battle buffers, you basically have two turns. And then we can hold down F to guard, refresh our turn limit. A whole cowbot down here, ain't I lucky? Mind if I help myself to some of your water? When I'm done with you, I'll use you for spare parts. Basically, this must be terrifying. These guys must be like cannibals. Right, so we're gonna move we're gonna move our character here. Miss Piper. Miss Piper Faraday, we're gonna move her behind cover. And this is where an interesting mechanic of the game comes in. You can actually freely aim. I'm doing it with the W with the W or with the WSAD keys. You can and you should laser reticule that I have here, the laser aimer, I can line it up. We're going to try, if we can, to shoot this guy's hat off, because you can keep his hat. If you shoot their hats off, you can collect them and have them as like little lovely bonuses, plus it gets rid of the head armor. And we got to shoot him in the head for critical damage. And we're going to now rush down here. Press F to end guard. It's always a good tip is always to try and aim if you can, try and get headshots because you get critical damage if you manage it. It's also well worth noting that to pick these hats up you have to run over them. So let's jump up here. Piper, turrets, fancy security for a hunk of junk. Bet I can cover behind that sort of sort of barrel. This is basically a sprint mechanic. You have two actions per turn. You can move and shoot, or you can basically sprint. I won't be able to fire after a sprint like that. I just have to wait my turn. So it's going to turn. Shoot at me. You can see that... Right, my, t my turn. Better aim up, up my gun so I can... I can take a... Uh, so I can take that turret out without, without with one shot. I won't want to trust another... Another go covering behind this barrel. And you can see here in the corner we have special abilities. So if we left control, we can do a power shot and we can bounce off the wall at the turret. You notice that you basically you breathe in and out, so you have to be really careful, otherwise you'll miss your shot. This is all about this rewards aiming. We're going to jump up here. You can see the instructions. That very happily, they, ins they show the instructions here in the corner of the screen. So let's get up here and see if we can find our crewmates. Here we go. You took your sweet time, Captain, says Sea Bass, Sea Brass. And here I was coming to save you, uh, you and all. Where's the rest of the crew? They got scrapped and hauled off. I'm the only one left. Gar. Dang it! We need to get out of here before we end up with some. We end up in some scrap heap. Aye, aye, Captain. Right. So we're gonna get her behind cover. She still can't use her power shot ability, so we're just gonna aim. Well, let's see if we can get him. There we go. Now the problem that we have is that this guy is using a shotgun, which isn't great. So we need to get nice and close. do that. He's probably going to shoot down at us. That's going to really hurt. But now we can go and finish him off. There's the exit up here. There's our way out. Let's steal one of their escape pods. Toot sweet. Basically, the way that the, le the, way that the level's working this game is that you will have to basically evacuate via an escape pod and the escape pods are not always where you think they're going to be. Okay, normally you can press tab and switch between characters, obviously they haven't got to that mechanic yet. So we're going to drop behind cover. He's going to jump up there and shoot at this. Oi, that ain't nice. So we've got to sprint through the door, drop behind cover. 
he's going to decapitate that guy with a shotgun blast. He's going to move up. Ricochet's, ricocheting gunfire plays a really major role in this gameplay. So, for all of you guys that like full assault weapons, yeah, it's as bad as it sounds. Really watch out. Let's see if we can take his hat. Ah, we can't. Oh well. Kill him. There's a swag bag up there. Let's go and get the swag. Um, this is where the roguelike element comes in, which is that you pick up swag on missions, like you pick up loot. At the end of said um, mission, the bags are randomly open and you get randomised rewards. Some can be rare items, some can be objects. See, all swag collected. All according to planning success. A swab hat. This bowler might be a bit might be a bit worse wear, but it's still a stylist, right? Anyway, it's better than freezing your scalp off. Even if it got blood and bullet wound or hope bullet holes in it. And the container of this bag is swag, a, a few swirls of water, essential resources for steam bots. Because this is basically steampunk, so obviously water for a robot that runs on steam is massive currency. Object complete, swag, and we got plus ten percent for difficulty bonus. And you go back on your trusty little scrap ship, back to your home base, and we will come charging out. Welcome back, Captain. Dang it, wonky. We won't get anywhere. We won't get any work done with these scrappers hanging everywhere in sight. No good steam mag. No good steam maggots are even pilfering the parts of the uh, pilfering the, the parts of honest cowbots. We have to do something about it. They'll haul off. They'll haul off. They've hauled off most of our crew back there. Gar, I'm still here. With the water sorted, with the water sorted, it's a tough spot. No mistake. It puts on a skeleton crew. What am I? Invisible? We don't. We don't even get that much water. We'll need more gallons to get back on our feet. I'll have to figure something out. Okay, ma'am, says the cat pilot. I love it like how he's built into the craft. Just set course over on the map table and I'll get us moving. Let's go and talk to... What's his name? Golly, that went bad. Sea brass, okay. Probably a tick on sea breeze. He's got a hook for a hand. Those patchy bolt heads had me staggered. Gar, make me squirmish about boarding bigger vessels so it does. I don't feel much like ending up in some scrap heap. Right you are, sailor. Basically we had to be careful because obviously we're on the experience difficulty so they're gonna have more there's gonna be more enemies. Let's go talk to the pilot. Getting prepared should be high priority, ma'am. Grumpy old sea brass might be a capable fellow, but we are not fit to handle all those scrappers. Grumble, grumble. We just have to round up some more gallons. I like it how basically like the currency in this is like water, which is really interesting to me because obviously they're steam bots, so like water is basically the thing that will keep them functioning, but at the same time they use it for all their tech. So you can imagine like stuff like steam and oil and coal must be really important to these guys and girl bots. I'm pretty as a woman after all. I do love the art style in this, I haven't been able to say it. This game is fantastic art style, so cool. We need to find some more gallons. So let's head off, shall we? I do like the fact that they don't charge you for moving, that's nice. With nothing but ripper class scrappers aboard, this tiny vessel should be easy pickings, even for a small and desperate crew. Grab as much as possible and get out. Collect the swag, evacuate. With nothing but Reaper class scrappers aboard, this tiny vessel should be easy pickings, even for the smallest and desperate of crew. Grab as much as possible and get out. Now, in this game, like your ranking, like your stars, when you complete a mission, actually does count. So, really, you want to try and get maximum stars because some places can only be opened with um, a certain amount of like reputation I suppose, this is what this is, like reputation. Also, certain bots will only join you if you have certain reputation. Let's go to our loadouts. There we go. Captain Pepper Faraday. Smuggle Captain Pepper Faraday and her trusty pilot Wonka hide out in the outskirts, far away from any royal jail. 
brings out the best in her crewmates. So, and Seabrass Stubbs, Gabriel Seabrass Stubbs. This dour whaler bot lost for everything he held dear when royalists monopolised the whale industry. He's good at holding up to the, heading up the vanguard. Okay, we haven't got anything to give them. I'm going to give them a different hat. Ooh, you got some. Oh, this is free DLC. Let's give him that hat. Okay. I'd like that hat. Let's just see. Let's give us a. So he's supposed to be a pirate captain. I'll see what that one is. Let me break it down for you with this ace. You don't need no bank for haze, hazel, hazel use since go buck wild and bum rust to party in style, alright? Nah, not money, I think. Whenever you're a pre school poser or a washed up wannabe marine, mariner, you better shape your shape up and hold yourself and escape from reality. Oh, and be kind enough to let your gramps or warden read it before you, you pilfer yourself and set off into the greater nun. Let's just go with that. We are supposed to be pirates, after all. Start mission. You cannot sprint and suit at the same time. Rough dashing. I get the feeling that our crew isn't really that competent. Can you hear me? It's Wonka. I'll hook up. I'm, I'm hooked up to some of the exposed plumbing on this ship, so I know I can speak to you. Oh, that's awesome, they're talking through the pipes. This has been an easy mission, nothing like the last one. Just grab all the gal all the galleons you can. And if you should come across any epic swag, make sure to bring it back. Okay. Let's get this door open. There's some swag and there are enemies. Let's get to cover. He's pretty good to start shooting down on us. Ooh, that was nasty. Right, we need to deal with him. Let's see if we can... Okay, we can't do anything. So we need to get up here. She's taking a hit already, which is not particularly nice. Let's see if we can ricochet this off into the bot's Face. Oh, that, that ricocheted off the barrel, unfortunately. Blew his legs out from under him. Ouch. There we go. Deliberate headshot, nice and clean. Get him up to the line. Have him foot bunker down. She can make a sprint for the loot. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Get into cover. He's gonna jump there. Right. She needs to get into cover quick. The problem is, I can't manually aim this guy, so I can't see where the hell I'm shooting. Can't move. They're gonna probably... Oh, he's moving, he's gonna shoot up at me, probably. No? Okay. Let's jump down here into cover. And we all... Let's... Cripple him with a headshot. Finish him off. And oh, we got a nice ricochet off him. He's got to jump up there and shoot down on us. Oh, they can shoot for the floor. I didn't think they could get up there. Okay. Is there anything we can ricochet off to get a headshot? Oh, ooh, I still managed to get him. Awesome. That was a fantastic shot. To be honest, it was pure coincidence. Killed him. We need to be picking up some health packs on this. Our health is not fantastic. Let's try and stay together with the rest of the crew. Get into cover. You're just going to have to run up here and basically blank shoot him. 
Oh dear. Ah, dang. Curses, okay. My health is not looking fantastic. I should have probably been a bit more careful about my placement. You run up here and get that. There must be swag back there. Yeah, there must be, because there's nowhere else on the ship. Let's go. We'll have, um... Seabrass take the lead. Because he's got a bit more HP. Our exit's probably there. Get her up into cover. He can go and open the door. Okay, I thought it was going to be guarded. Right here, there we go. All the swag. That sort of we should have enough water by now, and we won't get paid for wrecking scrappers. Just pluck all the swag and head for the escape pod. Ah, it's down there. Okay. That was a close run thing. I need. I got a bit sloppy with my placement. He needs to get down here, Sarpish. On the later levels, you basically will have an alarm. So we had to be quick about our t movement. There we go. 100% swag. First swag. Some more water. Second swag. More water. You can tell by like the, the power things fluctuating off them if it's going to be good loot or not. Short range, round, short, scoped short round. Ooh, concealed carrier with improved sight radius, high heightens both close and long range. That would be useful. We've got epic loot container. This grand prize, a hard to come by goodie, will most certainly p contain something more powerful than your average swag. Epic swag gives you plus one reputation. Ah, not bad. Carry and pistol. I mean, it could be worse. Swag bag, more water. We didn't suffer any casualties, so we got full ranks. A nice chunk of XP and we can level up. Battle experience has taught this crewman a new ability. I'm not going to see what it is. Health, increase your character's health by one. That's not bad. Seabrass leveled up. What did he get? The Vanguard, become enraged when taking damage. When enraged, its next attack will deal plus two damage. That's really nice, especially if you can get him a shotgun. Continue. Now I'm going to switch her hat back. I mean, I don't mind it, but it looks a bit silly, to be honest. She is the pirate captain, after all, so she needs to have a proper hat. That should be enough water. Let's head for Gart's bar and spend it. Gar, I like a new cannon. Give me a trustworthy gun on any day over an inexperienced crewmate. I thought we weren't welcome at Gats anymore. Well, now we're, we've got galleons to spend, and Gats not an unreasonable fellow. Game saving. How do we change our hats? I don't think we can change it. An ambassador hat. A deliberate point to a well-known and dreaded Cena condition. Oh, it's brain freeze. Driving from excessive mixing of hot teas and cold teas makes for both visualization of problem per se and a good and a pretty good reminder to keep you cool. It can also double as a popsicle on a boiling summer's day, though it might be hard to swallow. Ugh. Oh, we've got the crew. I wonder if they've got any. Uh, it's only talking about our guys. God, our aim's all over the place with her. Let's go and talk to the crew. Let's see what they have to say. You okay, sailor? Gar, this whole thing makes my steam boil. I'm so angry I could strangle a whale. That's horrible, Gabriel. Such majestic creatures. You never met a whale, have you, Captain? 
Uh, no, not really. Mm. Shifty-eyed creatures, the lack of them, only good thing about them, they're dripping with oil. Scrappers are almost as bad as whales, I tell you. I think we've got enough water for now. Let me swing by Gat's bar and see if we can get what we need. Right, I just might have... might I might just have to charm Gat a bit. And that's where we're going to leave it for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you've liked, please press the like button. If you're subscribed, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Twitter or look me up on Steam. I hope you've enjoyed. I shall see you all next time. If you've liked, please leave a comment in the comment section.